So, how can I help you, father? I know who smited that man. Smite it? It was God! Hey, welcome to the channel! If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe! Today we're playing Medieval Chronicles episode 4.1. I hope you enjoy! Our mother doesn't like it when you try and escape her embrace. So keep flying, Icarus, no matter how tired you get. Because when you will stop, she will pull you down. Damn, that's harsh. <laughs> hey, Bert. How are the morning's invoices coming along? What? Oh, yeah, I'm working on it right now. You okay, Bert? Well, yes, I mean... Ernie, do you ever feel useless around here? Yeah, this is Sesame Street, alright, nice. What? I wonder who else is going to come in there. Why are you talking like that? It's just that... It's the same stuff every single day. Do this, do that, do this again, do that again. It just never stops. Don't say that, Bert. A work may be mundane, but it's no less important than any other work in the world. I just wish that something exciting would happen around here. I just wish that God would show me a bone at least. Bert. Wait, is Sesame Street part of the post office? <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Oh my god! Bert, are you okay? What, what, what happened? I think got through a bone, or in this case, a carrot. Yeah, you can guess already who that was. <laughs> who the hell is throwing carrots at us? <laughs> well, it's drag. One apple! <laughs> How do you like them apples? Well, actually, they're not apples. I could only afford carrots. But as long as my point gets across, it doesn't matter. What the hell? You again? Your mom is so fat that God had to employ a dozen more angels to lift her to heaven. How rude! Why are you doing this? Because I hate you, and you tried ripping off a beloved children's show. What? Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Whoa! Two apples! <laughs> uh, drag their carrots, but okay. Three apples! <laughs> <laughs> Officer Drake! Cookie Monster! <coughs> oh, it's just you. No, she's a pie monster. <laughs> I'm not a cookie monster. With all the food you eat, you might as well be. Wait, so the post office is actually Sesame Street? I'm pretty sure throwing objects at the government building with intent to harm is terrorism. That's okay, I'm a police officer. That makes it even worse. I forget about that. I'm so drag. Something horrible has happened. What? Did they run out of pies or something? Worse. Don't tell me. Doesn't your post office in town? <laughs> even worse. They banned alcohol? No! The worst thing that could have happened to the world has happened. What? I'm so drag. It's Santa! Santa Claus! Oh god, not again. He... he's... He's what? He's dead! Santa is dead! This is the third game he did this, isn't it? In summer? Yeah, wait, what? Again? Isn't this the, the third time they said Santa has died? In Wolvesbane there was one episode? I guess the episode with, um... Yeah, I feel... Drag dressing as a as Santa was also one. A series created by Fez and Jay. Burn my drag. Well, that doesn't sound really optimistic. Is that really Santa? It's not Santa. It's impossible. But the circumstances suggest so. It's not Santa. <laughs> Now he's going to bring joy and happiness to the world, and also, presents. The Easter Bunny? He can't! He's too busy coloring those eggs! Someone has to inform Mrs. Cloud. I swear I can feel my brain cells jumping from my head to your IQ level when you guys talk! And we're entering this scene. 
I can really tell from here that this is going to be a huge pain in the head. But might as well get it over with. It's like ripping off a bandage. But even more painful. Greg Morris? Who the hell names a person after unwanted residue at the bottom of liquids? My father. Who knew he had such insight about my personality when I was just a baby? Well, whatever. I didn't knew that. Go right in, Officer Morris. Still waiting for you up there. I'd rather not, but it's not like I have a choice. They're always waiting for him, so let's go check it out. Hershey, young man! Over here! Luckily that dude is not standing in a creepy dark alleyway. Weird, I haven't been called that for a long time. What, young? No, man. Usually people call me assortment of barn animals and question my hygiene. Jack, you're, you're disgusting. Okay. I'm Captain Graham, and this is the foreman of the construction of this fort, Voice. We were wondering how long we were you planning on hanging out, and when can we get back to work on the fort? This fort was ordered to be built by the king, and any delays would put me in a heap of trouble. I just got here, but it seems there's a dead body in your backyard, so until everything is sorted out, I suggest you stay put. Gosh darn it! We are paid by the hour here, this is unacceptable! Can't you have it up at least? Tell you what, one of you confesses to the murder, I'll get my killer and you get back to your job. How does that sound? Uh -huh. Hmm. That's what I thought. Now stay put and cooperate with the officers and we can be done with this quickly. <laughs> Fine, we will wait. Well, those were impatient. Pardon me, officer. A priest? Can you guys wait to bury him at least after we finish the investigation? You misunderstood. I'm the priest of the church here and this is Sister Margaret. May God light your path to salvation. And what's your name? I'm Andrew Fatherson. Fatherson. So, you are Father Fatherson. I can understand your confusion. I guess my parents did not expect me to become a priest. So, how can I help you, Father? I know who smited that man. Smite it? It was God! He's angry and gave us a sign of his rage by smiting that man! Really? What is he angry about? Texas? I know that boils my blood. No! It's that fort which encroaches on the land of the Holy Church! And they are sinners who have stained the Holy Land! Dying. Right, so he smited some unrelated guy to prove his point. Wouldn't it have been better to smite the ones actually responsible? God works in mysterious ways. Why is it all priests say that when they don't know the answers to questions? It's like a cheat seat. Please? Do not speak blasphemy. The gates of hell are very eager to drag misguided souls like yours to hell. Oh, but that already happened, so... Whatever. I'll take care of your problem after I'm done investigating this guy's death. Is that okay? We will wait here for your response. You're doing God's work. Why am I getting some dangerous vibes from Sister Margaret? I want to quit. Yeah, exactly drag, exactly. But you can drag, so keep on going. So, you guys see any random old guy with a red coat and assume he's Santa? Thank you, finally someone took my side. Only because he doesn't know the whole story. All he wanted was to bring joy to the world. Ah. And can someone shut her up, please? She's been crying non-stop! Stop crying and I'll buy you a pie on the way home. What? Your treat? Okay. Too fast! Does she have some sort of on-off switch? So, what's the whole story you were talking about? Hey Doc, take the lead. Well, thank you. And now, Officer Drag, can you tell me the cause of death of this person here? Hmm. There are no visible stab wounds, but it seems his bones are broken, but... It seems most of them weren't broken individually, but were taken out all at once. What kind of object was he hit with? Wait, what? All at once? How's that even possible? Look closely to the ground, Drake. What does the blood splatter tell you? What the... It almost looks like as if he was squashed. The broken bones, the blood splatter? And considering the size of the object that he was hit with, he died by falling, crushing, drowning, stabbing, assault. Everything was broken, so I guess falling? He died 
by falling? Correct! All signs indicate that he fell to his death, and not just from any height. Considering the damage, he fell almost 10 stories down. But there are no buildings of that height around here. Not only that, he fell vertically, and the only place that comes close to these factors is a mountain half a mile from here. I first thought he was killed there and brought here, but according to Sai, the body was not moved from the ground. So the only explanation is that he fell from the freaking sky. Now you know why we think it's Santa. What? This is strange. Didn't he have any identification on him or some clue as to who he is? Not yet. I'm still examining the body to find anything more about it. Alright then. We will start our investigation too. Polly, tell the guards to remove the blockades. Right. Tira, you look around for anything that stands out. I doubt I can find anything more bizarre than this, but I'll try. Miss Hart, I want you to question the witnesses and report back to Drake. Okay. But until we find out his name, what should I call him when talking to the witnesses? You know what? Let's go with Santa for now. It will amuse me while I talk to these people. Officer Rabbit, can I ask for a transfer? That's fair. Are you kidding? If it was that easy, why would I be here too? That's a very honest answer. <laughs> Butter on a stick. Alright then. Let's go. Let's find out who killed Santa. Alright, so be sure to watch the next video where we'll talk to the suspects and investigate the scene a bit more. See you again then. Ciao! You should subscribe. Oh yes, you definitely should subscribe because this is a good channel. Believe me, you want to subscribe. Please subscribe. Oh come on, you do want to subscribe now, don't you? I really have to stop this weird shit.